there's a lot of people in the world who would uh, look at TV and go, well, how would I do against a pro? How would I do against someone like Josh? Josh, how do you think someone like me would do against you? Uh, well, you just have to be confident ah. for a start. <laughs> Not very well is what he means by that. <laughs> if you just take control and even get into the other player's head, something like that. Yeah, how do you um, do that? How do you psych people out? Well, if you, maybe you know the player beforehand, yeah. if, if you know what maybe annoys them or something. <laughs> I, I don't do this. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just, just talking about a friend, you know? Yeah, no, yeah. but <laughs> I'm sure there are some people that do it, but yeah. if you're confident enough yourself, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do it. I know that I would be on your list of people that you've uh, been waiting to play. Definitely. So is there anybody else that's on that list kind of in the game that you would say that you most likely will probably play professionally over the next year, but some that you really, really would like to go up against? Uh, I'd love to play Ronnie, obviously. He's, he's the best player to ever pick up a queue, I think. Come on, let's <laughs> go on. So as I remember, do I have to hit the red balls first? The red, yeah. Yeah, yeah, if, okay. If you can see one. Well, there's one there. He's already getting cheeky at me. <laughs> oh God, this is so much to work. What was the, your first kind of uh, introduction to snooker? It was more so pool first. Yeah. Um, I was on holidays with my family and they put me into a, a pool tournament. I think I was only maybe seven. And I actually won the pool tournament. There was maybe 20 people. What yeah. age were they? <laughs> they were all, all ages. The big guy in the final he must have been 40, 50. <laughs> That's amazing. So, um, and then my parents got me a little, a, a tiny little table. Yeah. Just to fit in, even in the kitchen. And I just started watching it on the TV then, uh, the snooker then. I kind of got out of the pool. And they always say pool is a, a gateway game. That's what they say about it. That's a bad one, isn't it? Yeah. Josh, so how many hours a day would you actually spend in here? If I'm here on my own, I'd usually try seven, seven or eight hours a day. Treat it as a full-time job now. Right in here. Hope for the best. Oh. Did you get that? Oh. <laughs> did, did, did you get that, yeah? <laughs> so heading into the professional game, what are your goals? What do you want to do? Who do you uh, want to beat? Who do you want to embarrass? <laughs> initially, I have two years okay. to stay on the tour. Yes. So that's the first goal. Yeah. That's tricky enough to be in the top 64 ranking. And there's 128 players on the tour. Mm -hmm. So I just need to get off to a good start. And once I do that, which I'm, I'm confident I, I can, in a few years, maybe win some tournaments, win the World Championship. Yeah. There's your 100. Hitting home. Well, what That's we're looking at right now is 108 <laughs> to one. one. Yeah. That's what happens when you leave me balls like that. Thanks very much. Thank you very much for. Uh, Hopefully, you don't feel too bad now. No, I, I, to be honest, I actually think you took it easy on me. 